Probably the first real Guns N' Roses song with Duff and Axel and Izzy and Steven and myself. Like the first real song that we wrote together as a band, and it was a riff that I'd been playing on my acoustic at home. And Axel came over one night, and we were hanging out. And on his way out, I said, "Oh, check out this riff." And I remember it distinctly. I was on my knees in front of my couch, and he was on my left, and he was about to walk out the door. And that was it. And then we went into uh, Nikki Beat studio in Silver Lake, where we just started really rehearsing. And we put that song together and talk about a sophisticated arrangement. That was the product of the five of us taking an idea and making it our own. You know, Duff had his input. You can almost hear um, where everybody's input is. You know, it's like, um, and Axel was sitting there writing everything, writing lyrics down on, on a piece of paper. And that was, and it came out in one afternoon. You know, and we, we had like, I think uh, usually three hours booked at Nikki Beats if we could afford it. So in three hours, that was. You know. Yeah, I mean, you were, uh, some of that was even, I think I read, sparked by like bass lines and stuff like that, some of the parts of the song, yeah? Yeah, well, I mean, most of the stuff like riff-wise, I'm usually writing on guitar. They're basically bass lines. Right. You know, like the whole down, that kind of groove. And then you add the bass to it, and it just it makes it that much heavier. Yeah. Uh, when I introduced you, I mentioned earlier that uh, uh, basically it's a requirement if you're a rock guitar player to learn how to play the opening riff to Sweet Child of Mine. It's just one of those rites of passage, you know. So I definitely have to ask you about the origin of that riff. Okay. And I'd like to know how you put together that solo, which is really one of the greatest solos in the history of rock. <laughs> 